certainly was a sacrifice, to say the least. Well, how does it feel to be the number one contender for the World Wrestling Federation Championship? Oh, it feels great. I shouldn't have to tell you how it feels. You've seen number one contenders come out here before. Our man Johnson gave it everything he had last night, but no, that wasn't good enough. You know, that was then, and this is now. And I'll tell you what time it is now. It's time for Farouk to become the World Wrestling Federation Champion. And speaking of that, let me ask you a long-awaited question. When was the last time that the World Wrestling Federation had a black man to wear that belt? Can you answer that for me? Answer that question. Never. No, you can't answer that. You know why? Because you, there never has been one. Oh, you, you've had token blacks in position of intercontinental champion like Ahmed Johnson for a short period of time. Oh, you've had U.S. champions like Bobo Brazil with the U.S. belt for a short period of time. No, I'll tell you what. And speaking of that, when was the recent chance that Ahmed Johnson had a shot to become the World Wrestling Federation champion? Tell me that. Can you answer that? No, you can't, because you people don't feel a black man is worthy of winning the World Wrestling Federation title. You don't feel a black man is worthy of being champion of the WWF. But you do feel a black man is worthy of washing your car. You do feel a black man is worthy of washing your clothes. You do think a black man is worthy of even raising your kid. But let me tell you something. Those were those days, and this is a different day and age. You see? No longer are we marching up and down the street wearing our shoes. No longer are we calling radio stations complaining. We are taking matters into our own hands. When I get to swinging these fists and kicking these feet, you understand that, don't you? Huh? You understand that, right? Everyone understands that. And this has nothing to do with being black. What's the matter with you? Oh, it has everything to do with being black. You tell me when was the last time a black man had a shot at being the World Wrestling Federation champion. There has never been one. But I tell you what, at King of the Ring, King Farouk will live again. Because you see, your white savior, the Undertaker, will be a dead man. Don't you feel these comments are racist? Listen, I didn't come out here to be a role model for anybody, but I'll guarantee you this. Some little black kid, a little black girl sitting at home right now, feel the pain and the anger that I feel. No longer are we sitting back being pacifist. We are going to take matters into our own hands, and that means by any means necessary. We are the nation. Well, the nation. I don't know what to, what to say about that. Oh, man.